New at five, parents and pregnant mothers at risk of substance abuse now have the support they need through a newly launched program in Tulsa. Two News Oklahoma's Corey Duke went to the Parent Child Assistance Program, or PCAP, office downtown and shares how professionals working there hope to make a difference. Oklahoma has the highest incarceration rate for women in the nation. Two thirds of those women in prison are mothers with little to no contact with their children. The need for PCAP was recognized in Oklahoma when data showed 1,024 newborns tested positive for substances and were reported to OKDHS in 2020. That's a 22% increase from 2019. I spoke with Dr. Aaron Mayer, an associate professor of sociology at OU, about what the program consists of. She says it works with mothers over a three-year period who struggle with substances during pregnancy, helping them get connected to resources they need to support their recovery every step of the way. She says pregnancy is a window of opportunity to help these women, and they often want to do right by their children. But she addresses it isn't always easy for a woman to speak up and ask for help. It's also a high risk time for women because we live in a state that wants to sometimes punish women for using substances while pregnant. So it is risky sometimes for women to want, raise their hand and say, we need help or I want help for my child and myself. So we are here to be a supportive, non-judgmental program. The help from the program is the positive path to recovery will be well received and change the punishment for these women. PCAP began as a home visiting program in Washington State, which had major successes. In turn, researchers at the University of Oklahoma received funding to bring the PCAP model to Oklahoma and evaluate it using a randomized controlled trial. This means throughout 2023, 200 women from Tulsa and OKC will enroll in this study. 100 will receive the three-year in-home program. The other 100 will be referred to services in the community. The women who participate are paid to enroll in the study and are offered transportation as well. Some of the criteria includes women who were pregnant or up to 24 months postpartum, used alcohol or drugs during pregnancy. Women who have a child with fetal alcohol spectrum disorder are currently abusing alcohol or in their childbearing years. If you or someone you know could benefit from this program, it's as easy as sending an email or a simple phone call. I'll post a link on kgrh.com to show you how you can do that. In Tulsa, Corey Duke, 2 News, Oklahoma.